seventh grade math students to the um, lesson seven. sounds a little confusing right there guys but um it's really simple we took lesson 7.1 and we divided up into two parts okay and now we're going to spend two days, two days working on homework that covers part two okay so today's going to be part one homework and then tomorrow will be part two homework okay so i hope that makes sense uh page 232 numbers 13 through 28 solve each proportion okay and so that's what we're going to do so here we go here's the first one here now let's solve this proportion notice that we're missing an m right here okay a so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply we're going to multiply our extremes and 20 times m is 20 m okay then next we're going to multiply 15 times 16 it uh, 240 okay and then we set them equal divide both sides by 20 and you will get 12 okay so there we go the answer is 12 okay students so pretty simple and that's what we're going to do for all 16 problems okay so here we go next problem number 14 all right notice we're missing an n right here we're missing a number right here so we have the variable n representing
get 21 over 2. Okay. Now, of course, um, if we divide that out, we're going to get 10 with a remainder of 1. Now, that's not how I want you to write your answer. That's not how I want you to write your answer. I want you to pick up your remainder and put it over your divisor. So your divisor is 2. So 1 over 2, so your answer would be 10 and a half. Okay? Alright, number 18. Uh, let's solve for d right here first of all. Let's multiply our extremes. 8 times d is 8d. Then we'll multiply our means, which would be 3 times 36. When you multiply those, you will get 108. Okay? Next, we set them equal. Now, I would like you to make this into a mixed number, so you would get 13 and a half, okay? 2 goes into 27, 13 times, 13 times 2 is 26, remainder of 1, put your remainder over your divisor, and of course 1 over 2 is 1 half, and that's the answer, okay? Here, it's not over to the left at all. It's over zero places. You add those together. That's a P right there. You add those together. One plus zero is one. And so you go over how many places? One. So I hope that rings a bell. Okay, so five times 2.4 gives you 12. Next, we're going to multiply the means. And uh, that's going to be four times A and four times a is 4a, and put your equal sign in there, divide both sides by 4, on the left side 12 divided by 4 is 3, on the right side your 4 is cancel, and there's your answer, 3 equals a. Alright, number 20, let's solve for n, so we have two fractions that are set equal, anytime you have two fractions that are set equal, you can cross multiply, so we're going to multiply our extremes, 4 times 10. Gives you 40. Then we're going to multiply our means n times 15, which gives you 15n. Set them equal. And of course, if you want to get n by itself, you have to divide both sides by 15. So we divide both sides by 15. And on the left side over here, 5 goes into both of those numbers. And so it reduces to 8 thirds. On the right side, your 15s cancel, leaving you with n. Now, students, I don't want you to leave your answer like this. We have to divide it out and get a mixed number, and you will get 3 and 2 thirds, okay? 3 goes into 8 2 times, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract, you get 2. So you put your remainder on top of your divisor, so 2 thirds. So the answer is 2 and 2 thirds, okay? Alright, number 21. Now, guys, here we're getting a little more complex, okay? So please pay attention once carefully. We're going to solve for n, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply our extremes together. 2n times 10. Now, if you didn't know that 
this, 2n times n is 20n, okay? Uh, 2 times 10 is 20, and you put the n with, and you get 20n. Now, next we're going to multiply the means, sorry for yawning, 8 times 7 is 56, okay? Now put your equal sign n, and now of course to get n by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 20. When you do that on the left side, your 20s cancel, leaving you with n. Now on the right side, 4 goes into both of these numbers, okay? So we're going to reduce this by 4, and that gives you 14. We're going to reduce this by 4, and it gives you a 5. And so thus we get n equals 14 fifths, okay? Now if I asked you to write that as a mixed number, you would get it. and 15 goes into 32 times, so we get 3 over 2, okay? On the right side, 30 is cancel out, leaving you with B. Now, of course, 3 and a half students is the same thing as 1 and 1 half, okay? All right, moving on. Uh, number 24. All right, guys, so let's solve for N. We're going to do that by multiplying our extreme. 9 times 7, which gives you 63. Then we're going to multiply our means, which is 4n times 1.5. So really, we're going to take 4 times 1.5, and then whatever we get, we're going to put n with it. Okay? So here we go. 4 times 1.5. There it is over here. And remember, students, we talked about this a little, a little bit ago. We are not, you do not, when you're multiplying, you do not bring the decimal straight down, okay? Um, if that happens, that's just a coincidence, okay? How many decimal places over is a decimal here? One place. The decimals over how far left? None at all. Um, and so 1 plus 0 gives you 1. So when I take 15 times 4, I get 60. Ignore the decimal. And then you're because um, 1 plus 0 is 1. So we're going to go over one decimal place from the left, like that. And there you go. There's your answer. Or not your answer, sorry. There's your multiplication. So 4 times 1.5 is 6. I mean, 6.0 is the same thing as 6. So 4 times 1.5 is 6. And don't forget to put your n with it. So we get 6n. Okay, and put your equal sign, divide both sides by 6, 63 divided by 6, that's going to reduce down to 21 over 2, 3 goes into both of those numbers, on the right side your 6 is cancelled, leaving you with an, and then guys, 21 over 2 
is 10 and 1 half. Okay? All right, number 25. Okay, now, guys, now things get a little interesting. Okay, hey, let's go back and look back here before and the end. We're multiplying. So we say they are one term. Sorry for yawning. In other words, they are connected. Okay, they are connected. They are together. Okay, but in 25, notice we do not have 2x. That's not what we have. We have x plus 2. Okay, they are separate terms. They are not connected. So when we get to that in a second, I'm going to show you what to do. But first of all, let's multiply our extremes together. Times 5 is 55. Now, when you multiply your means together, listen carefully, students, you take 10 times x, and 10 times x is going to be 10x. But then you also have to multiply this 10 not just times the x, but also times the 2. Okay, so 10 times 2 is, well, positive 10 times positive 2 is. Okay, and now you're ready to put your equal sign in there right there. And now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to solve for x. So bring your 20 over. In other words, guys, if we're going to solve for x, we have to put x all by itself. So we have to get rid of the 10 and we have to get rid of the 20. So bring the 20 over and make it negative. And you end up with 35 over here on the right side. This is gone. It. So you're just left with 10. Now divide both sides by 10. The 5 goes into both of these numbers, so it becomes 7 over 2. On the right side, your 10s cancel, leaving with x. And of course, if you divide 2 into 7, you will get 3 and 1 half. Okay, same type of problem again. Notice up here we do not have 3n. It's n minus 3. So when we multiply our extremes, you have to multiply the 8 times the n, but also the 8 times the 3. Okay, so 8 times n is 8n. Now watch your signs. A positive 8 times a negative 3. A positive times a negative is negative. And 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, now multiply your means. 5 times 16 is 90, or 80, excuse me. Put your equal sign in. And now we want to get n by itself, so we have to get rid of these two numbers here, okay? To get n all by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my positive 24, I'm going to bring it over, and when I do it, it becomes positive 24. Now I'm going to combine these two numbers over here, and you do get it. n Okay, and now divide both sides by 8, your 8's cancel, leaving you with 204, uh, or 104 divided by 8, All right, which gives you 13. Okay, alright, moving on to number 27, alright, so same thing, here we go, let's solve for t, and so we're going to cross multiply our extremes, 24 times 3 is 72, Means that means you're gonna that means you're gonna multiply five times what t and also five times what eight okay so here we go five times t will give you five t and then five times a positive times positive is positive so five times a is positive forty and be sure and put your equal sign right there now remember students we're solving for um, T, so we have to get rid of the 5 and the 40, okay? So bring the 40 over, make it negative, and when you do that, you'll get 32, okay? And then bring down your 5T and divide both sides by 5. Now 32 over 5 cannot be simplified, so we just leave it uh, 6 and 2 fifths, and of course on the right side, your 5's can with T. Okay? So I hope this makes sense here. 5 goes into 32. 5 goes into 32 six times. Um, 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract, you get 
two, put the two over five, we get two fifths. Okay, all right, last problem. Here we go. All right, we're going to solve this uh, proportion for W. Let's multiply our extremes first. Okay, seven times W is seven W. And then watch your signs. A positive seven times a negative one, a positive times a positive times a negative is a negative. And of course, seven times one is uh, seven. Then we're going to multiply our means. Eight times thirty-five is two hundred eighty. And be sure and set those two equal. And our students, uh, um, let's bring our seven over. Let's make it a positive seven. Seven, and then divide both sides by seven. On the left side, your seven cancels it with W, and on the right side, you're left with forty-one. Okay, and that's it, guys. Now, these are not difficult as long as you can multiply and solve simple linear equations. You should be fine. Okay, um, tomorrow's homework is going to be a little more difficult with word problems, but you'll be fine. Okay, uh, that's all for today. With your homework, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to.